Hello everyone, welcome to today's live masterclass with me, Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com. I'm so excited about today. So excited about going live with you today and teaching you all about improvisation on the saxophone and how it can transform your playing. So let me know if you're with us, let me know if you can hear me. I forgot to put the lavalier in. So let me know if you can hear me. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know how long you've been playing the saxophone and what you're hoping to gain from this masterclass and what you want to learn about improvisation or what your struggles are with improvisation. So comment in the comment section. If you're not signed into YouTube, uh, try to do that now. If you don't have YouTube, you can actually comment below the video um, as well on the web page at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash live. There's another comment section. And uh, let me know you're here and everything's working smoothly. I, don't, I want to make sure that we're not having any technical difficulties before we continue. So we're going to wait a few more minutes, make sure everybody is uh, getting a chance to log on and join us. So we have Fred with us from Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome, Fred. Daryl, Patricia's here, Ken's here, Roger. Hel I enjoy all your classes, very helpful. Thank you, Roger. Joe's here, one of my students. Sheriff Joseph from Toronto, Sheriff from Nigeria, tuned in from the Netherlands. Welcome, that's cool. From Germany, from Illinois, horse from Germany. Mark from Illinois, Lee from the UK, from Bedfordshire, awesome, welcome. Neil Turpin from Scotland, amazing. This is so exciting, guys. I really appreciate you all turning up today. We're going to have a lot of fun. I really hope you get a lot out of it. And it's all about improvisation. This is uh, something I've been very passionate about for, for the last 25 years. I've been playing saxophone and improvising, and I... I really love this part of music and <clears throat> I'm looking forward to sharing with you how, how you can start improvising, even if you have no background, even if you uh, don't know any music theory or you don't feel like you're creative. I want to show you why improvisation is so important, how it can transform your sax playing, even if you're a beginner, okay? So I think we have most people with us right now. So let's move on to the slides. And let me tell you what my goal is today, right? I want to show you the importance of improvising on saxophone in order to develop essential sax techniques, learn new songs, play by ear, jam with other musicians, gain more confidence, and have more fun with playing. This is my goal. This is what improvising can do for you. And I want you to realize that you, all of this can be gained if you learn how to improvise. Now, some of you have already taken this saxophone improvisation challenge. I've been sending out emails all week. I hope you've had time to check it out. If you haven't, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash SIC. You can sign up and get access to a free three-part training on how to get started improvising for total beginners. Okay, so this is a step-by-step -step total beginner three-part series that's going to get you start improvising on a saxophone even with just a few notes okay so for those who have taken it you know let people know in the comments what you thought and if you enjoyed it um there's i've already had some wonderful feedback inside the challenge uh in the comments section so this is this is how you can sign up actually if you go to www saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash SIC, you're going to see this page. You can sign up here. And once you've signed up, you can get access to the Saxophone Improvisation Challenge. You can click on the videos down here. You can get the backing tracks. You can get a PDF. It's completely free, and I've had some wonderful feedback already. Uh, I've watched, Harold here says, I've watched all three videos and absolutely loved it so far. Um, James says, wow, just what I've been looking for. Thank you so much. Jose says, fantastic introductory classes to improvisation. So this is a step-by-step -step 
how to improvise close-ups on fingerings downloading you can download the the pdf and and get all the fingerings and everything for what you need to work on when it comes to improvising okay so make sure to check that out if you haven't already in the next 45 minutes i'm going to show you the five biggest myths about improvising on the sax okay a lot of people get overwhelmed by improvisation i want to bust the myths of improvising on a saxophone and i'm going to give you the five reasons why improvising can transform your sax playing i'm going to show you the three stages every beginner improviser needs to go through my solution and step-by-step -step system for learning to improvise on the sax a behind the scenes look at my five week live improvisation course in august we're going live every wednesday in august you get lifetime access to the replays if you can't make every class i'm giving you feedback it's going to be amazing i'm going to tell you all about that you can, of course you can ask me anything about improvising on the saxophone at the end of this master class and i'll hope to answer all your questions and i'm giving away two of my saxophone courses plus three months membership to the sax circle coaching community this is my exclusive community some people that are with us today are in that community joe ken um uh who else is in that community there's a few people that have joined us today and you're going to get three months free access if you win okay so you have to stay till the end to claim your prize so i'm going to announce the winners at the end and you have to make sure that you're here and claim your prize so in order to do that, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash competition. I'll give you a chance to do that now. And you can just put your name and email in there. And I'll get, I'm going to collect all those emails and we're going to do a random selection. We're going to do a spin the wheel, in fact. And I'm going to select three different winners to win three of my courses and products. Okay, but you have to stay to the end to, the, to win. Okay, so you have to make sure you're with us at the end. You can comment on YouTube, say, hey, that was me, I won. Or you can uh, email me, say, hey, I'm, I'm live with you now. I want to get a copy of the course that you're giving away. So stay to the end if you want to win one of my courses. A little bit about me. I've been playing saxophone for 25 years, full-time professional for 15 years, and I've been improvising since I first started on the saxophone. I've studied with the best sax improvisers in the world at Berklee College of Music, Joe Lovano, Dave Liebman. I've studied jazz improvisation with a bunch of other great teachers. I've recorded and performed in every genre of music and I've needed to improvise in almost every musical setting. So I basically wouldn't have a career if I didn't know how to improvise. It's been an incredible tool, incredible skill to have when it comes to playing with other musicians and performing and recording. I've recorded for Sega Games, Coca-Cola, award-winning movies, top 10 selling albums, platinum selling artists like Amy Winehouse, Avril Lavigne, The Commitments, and so many more. Is everybody able to see uh, the slides so far? Patricia says I'm getting on the screen is saxophone improvisation challenge. So let me know. Okay, I'll continue unless there's Anyone else is seeing that? All right. I've also taught thousands of students how to improvise over the last 20 years. Okay. So I've been teaching since I was, you know, 16, 17. Um, I've been teaching people how to improvise. I've obviously been teaching online. I have over 8,000 subscribers on YouTube, thousands of students on my email list. People have joined my courses. It is, uh, I've been teaching thousands of students and I've been showing them step by step how they can start improvising on the sax. So, first things first, the five biggest myths about improvising. Number one, you need to learn all your scales in 12 keys before you can improvise. This is not true. You don't need to know all your scales. You don't need to know all the music theory. You can start improvising today with just a few notes. You need to learn every chord in music before you can improvise. Again, not true. Chords are, a, are something that piano players play and guitar players play. It can get very complicated. It can get very confusing, especially as a sax player. But 
you don't need to really understand fully what chords are and how they work in order to start improvising. Eventually, you do want to understand chords, but you can actually start improvising without even knowing anything about chords. You need to know all the chords of a song before you can improvise around it. Again, you don't need to know that. If you just know the melody of a song, you can actually start improvising around it right away. I'm going to show you how you can do that. You need to learn how to play by ear before you can improvise. Okay, a lot of people are trying to play by ear, they don't read music, and maybe they're still struggling with that. And they're like, well, how can I improvise if I can't play by ear? Well, you don't have to learn how to play by ear, you just need to have a few tools and you can actually start improvising right away without even knowing how to play by ear. And the fifth biggest myth is you need to copy all the great jazz improvisers before you can improvise. This is not true, okay? Jazz improvisation specifically is actually one of the most complicated forms of improvising, okay? You, you should never start with jazz music when you're trying to improvise on the sax because you, it, it is so complicated and can get so complicated. And so to even try to start copying them is gonna to be too difficult as a beginner improviser. And you don't need to. You can start improvising without having to learn all about the jazz stuff. Right, so five reasons you need to improvise on the sax. We're gonna get into this now in more detail. And the first reason is it helps you improve your sax tone, your sax scales, and your technique, okay? And now, what do I mean by this? What do I mean by this? Is everybody with me, by the way? Uh, Patricia, are you able to see the video or is it still stuck? I wanna, just wanna make sure everyone can see it. If it's blurry, it's probably the internet connection that you have, so I just, that's unfortunately gonna be on your end. Yep, all good, all right, cool. So, improvising helps you with improving your tone, your scales, your technique on the saxophone. Of course, you need to have that foundation first of at least being able to play a note with a good tone, uh, at least being able to know a few notes, form a scale, and at least being able to execute that scale. So this is what I teach inside my courses, my membership. It's called the Saxophone Mastery System, right? It consists of tone, scales, and technique. And this is the foundation for mastering the saxophone. If you need to work on these individual principles in order to master the saxophone. But improvising, can actually help with all those three principles. It can solidify your ability to learn and internalize these three principles, okay? So, you should know that before you start playing any song, before you start improvising, before you start doing anything, you need to work on your tone. And the best way to do that is through a long tone, okay? So, you need to work on just playing a single note getting great breast support, right? Making sure you're working on your embouchure, right? And there's a few ways to do this. We can do it with just a mouthpiece of neck, okay? Okay, just doing long tones like that. Do that a few times. Then we move to the saxophone, and a good note to start on is G, which is just those three notes in the left hand. Okay, so this is working on your tone. You have to focus in on this, right? But then you want to start focusing in on a scale, right? First scale you want to learn on the sax, G major. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. These are essential things that you need to warm up with, okay? And finally, technique. What is technique? Well, it's working on your rhythm, it's working on the way your tongue to read, your articulation, and it's working on your dexterity in your fingers. So you wanna practice playing that scale to a metronome and tonguing every note, right? 
And this is just a basic foundation of, of saxophone playing, right? You need to be working on this. A lot of people skip over all of this. They try to play songs. They try to just do, you know, play a, a difficult solo. You need to warm up in this way before you start doing anything, including improvising, okay? So 60 BPM. We're just going to tongue every note on G major up and down the scale. Okay, that's tone, scales, and technique. And that's the goal, especially when you're warming up. But now we want to translate this into improvising. We want to translate this into music, okay? And when you, d and the best way to do that is to warm up like that and start improvising around the G major scale. And once you start improvising around the G major scale, those three things that you're working on, tone, the G major scale, the technique of playing in rhythm and tonguing, it starts to come together. It starts to solidify. It starts to gel to create music. Right, which is the whole goal of learning all of these things, right? And once you start creating music and having fun, it's going to make the, your progress accelerate, right? Because you're using a different part of your brain now. You're using the creative part of your brain, right? When we focus on tone, we're thinking very technically. When we focus on scales, we're thinking very uh, analytically, right? We're trying to figure out the fingerings, the note names, when we're working on our technique and articulation, our rhythm, we're using a different part of our brain. When we start improvising, we start using the creative start part of our brain. And that's going to create a, a different way of developing our skills. Okay, so we're going to take G major and we're just going to improvise around G major. Okay, so I'm just improvising around G major. G, A, B, C, D with the octave key, E with the octave key, F sharp with the octave key, G with the octave key. They're the only notes I'm using. Okay, a really great place to start as a beginner, by the way. You want to work on this because this is the middle range of the saxophone. Okay, you don't want to go too low. You don't want to go too high as a beginner. You want to focus in on the middle range. And especially when you're trying to learn to improvise, you want to focus in on the middle range of the sax or you're going to start getting frustrated because you're not going to be able to get out the high notes and the low notes. So when we start improvising, we're not thinking about tone and scales and technique. We're just trying to create music and that makes it your ability to improve all of those areas go up drastically, right? Your ability to improve on tone, scales and technique suddenly becomes a lot more effective because you're starting to use a different part of your brain. So when I'm practicing anything, when I'm practicing anything, any scales, even a song, when I'm working on technique, I'll always take a moment, a minute, a two minutes to just start improvising with what I'm learning. Okay, it's the concept of play. It's a concept of getting into the flow. It's a concept of, of using another part of your brain to really internalize what you're learning. Okay, it's, it's just like learning a language. It's just like learning a language. You can sit down and learn all the words, okay? You can learn the technique, the foundation, right? But it's only going to be internalized when you start speaking the words, when you start creating sentences. You understand?
So I really hope that's clear. That's just one reason. And that's a good enough reason in, in itself to start improvising around the sax. All right? Now, reason number two, it helps you learn songs and melodies by ear. Okay? If you can start to improvise on a saxophone, what you're going to do is start connecting the sound you're hearing, right, in your head to the fingerings. It's going to start naturally developing this connection with the saxophone. Right? When you can start improvising, you're going to develop this natural connection to the saxophone, which is going to help you play by ear. Right? So we've, let's say we, we practice improvising around G major. Okay? We're going to use that as the example. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now, if I hear a song, and if it's in the key of G major, I'm going to have a much easier time with learning that song because I have the fingerings in my muscle memory. I have that connection with the sound because I've been improvising around G major, right? So when you want to learn a song, let's say, When the Saints Go Marching In. When the Saints Go Marching In uh, is in the key of G major when I teach it. So when a song's in the key of G major, it's going to use the notes of the G major scale, okay? So if you're learning When the Saints Go Marching In in the key of G major, and you're trying to learn it by ear, you don't have the sheet music, you don't have the note names, you can start to figure out the notes a lot easier if you've been improvising around the scale, right? I really hope you follow me with this. When, you're, when, you're, when you've practiced improvising around the scale, Learning how a new song is going to become so much easier. Okay, so let's say we're, we don't know when the saints go marching in, right? And we want to figure it out by ear. We've practiced G major, we've improvised around G major, and we can start figuring it out. notes of G major okay G B C D G B C D G B C D B G B A when we have that certain amount of familiarity with the scale because we've been improvising around it trying to figure out melodies becomes easier okay the more you practice improvising, the quicker it is to figure out what notes to play of a song, right? So we can start playing lots of different songs, right? Let's say we want to learn Amazing Grace, okay? This time we're going down a little lower, still playing G major, G, F sharp, E, D, low D. But we can start figuring out the notes of Amazing Grace because we've been improvising around this scale. Okay, so when you develop this connection to the saxophone through improvising, trying to figure out notes by ear becomes a lot easier. All right? really important part, really important reason to start improvising on the sax. Okay? Number three, it allows you to put style and character into the songs that you play. What do I mean by this? I mean, when you learn a song, you can start improvising around the song now. You can start creating your own style, your own little melodies, your own little embellishments to make the song sound better. So let's say again, we take When the Saints Go Marching In and let's just play it very straight, very normal. Okay, 
Okay, so that's one way to play when the Saints go marching in. There's also a million other ways to play when the Saints go marching in because you can start to embellish it with improvising. Okay, so let's say I play the same song when the Saints go marching in, but I'm going to add in notes because I've been improvising around G major. I can start adding in notes from G major to give it a little more style. Okay, so I'm improvising around the song, still using G major notes, but I'm giving it a little more style, a little more character. It's got a different sound to it. This is how pro sax players play songs on the sax. A pro sax player will probably never play a song completely straight and normal like this. Okay, I'm not going to say it's a boring way to play the song, but it's a very straight way to play the song. It's missing characteristics, it's missing uniqueness, it's missing personality. It's just very straight, like maybe a classical saxophone player in an orchestra, yes, you have to play a certain way, very straight. But when you're playing by yourself or with a backing track or with a band, you have more fluidity. You can be more expressive. And in order to be expressive, you need to know how to improvise, right? So eventually, when you start getting really good at improvising, you can play this song in a really unique, cool way. It's, it's unlimited possibilities, okay? So if I, if I wanted to play this song and I was playing it at a show, I might play it like this. <laughs> Okay, the melody is there, but I'm creating all these cool embellishments, all these unique uh, style of um, Im improvising. I'm adding in different notes. I'm changing up the rhythm a bit. Now it sounds pro, as opposed to. Okay. Improvising puts style and character into your songs. All right. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple. But at least you're, you're adding your own stamp on the songs that you're playing. Okay. This is what the pros do. Right. Number four. It gives you the skill set to jam <coughs> with any musician in any genre of music. Okay. Meaning, if you ever want to play along to a band, maybe you want to get together with a piano player. Maybe you want to get together with a piano player. Maybe you want to get together, maybe you want to play in your church to the choir, right? If you know how to improvise, you can jam along with anybody. Okay, this is how I've made a career as a musician. I have learned to improvise in different keys in different ways so that I can sit in, <coughs> meaning I can join a band and just start playing in unison a, with, in my own way to the band, to the piano player, to the guitar player, to the choir, whatever musical setting, whatever musical genre, it doesn't matter. If you know how to improvise, you can fit into any musical setting. Okay, now you have to have a high level of skill with improvising but you eventually that's what improvising leads you to do right so you're in a church band they're playing amazing grace and you want to be able to jam along with them but they don't have this music for saxophone so what are you supposed to do well 
there's a few steps. Number one, you gotta figure out what key they're playing in, okay? key is equal to the scale. So let's say they're in the key of G major, you're going to play the scale of G major. So that's the first step. So, okay, I've got to play the scale of G major. Now you've been improvising around G major because you've been practicing. You've been, you've been getting into the flow. You've been using the creative side of your brain to practice G major. Now you're in a musical setting where they're playing in the key of G major and you can start using your ear to play along with them. And you can play you don't have to play a lot of stuff. You don't have to improvise all over it. You can just play a couple of notes that work in unison, in harmony with the band. That's just one example. There's other examples where maybe they want you to solo. Maybe they want to feature you. And they want you to improvise. Well, again, if you take those steps and you know what key they're in, you know what scale to play, you can have your little moment to shine and start improvising with the band. This is the importance of improvising on a sax. You can start jamming with other musicians and even start jamming, obviously, to backing tracks as well. You can download a backing track and maybe it's in the key of G major. You can start jamming to that backing track on the G major scale, okay? Which is really what I think a lot of people want to be able to do. They want to be able to play to their favorite songs, play to backing tracks, start playing with other musicians eventually. And improvisation is basically the one way to get to that place the most effective in the most effective way right so that's reason number four and all of it comes together to basically developing more confidence and having more fun with playing the saxophone which is what it's all about guys right all of it is about having fun and being comfortable with playing the sax, having confidence. If you're able to improve your technique, your scales, your tone with improvising, that's going to lead to more confidence. If you're able to learn songs by ear, learn melodies by ear, that's going to lead to more fun and more confidence. If you can start playing songs in your own way, with your own style, that what you're hearing in your ear, it's going to lead to more fun, more confidence with playing the saxophone. And finally, if you're going to jam with other musicians and have uh, the knowledge, the know-how to go, hey, you want to jam? Okay, I'll come over. Hey, what, what key are you playing in? Cool, I can improvise around that with you. That's going to lead to endless amounts of fun and give you more confidence and, and give you more confidence to perform in front of other people too. Okay, so improvising on the sax is essential for all of this. And you can get started right away. Even if you're a beginner, even if you only know a few notes, you can start implementing improvisation into your practice sessions um, and start using improvisation to help you develop all of these skills and gain more confidence and have more fun on the saxophone, okay? However, it's hard to know where to start, okay? How do you get started with improvising, right? How do you get started with learning how to improvise on the sax? It's, it's a very deep, rich skill that is very subjective. A lot of people teach one way, another way. There's multiple ways to approach learning how to improvise on the sax. Okay? Now, after 25 years of improvising, after improvising in you know, countless musical situations in every genre of music, I've come up with my own system and my own step-by-step -step way of teaching beginners how to start improvising on the sax, right? Without getting overwhelmed, without getting you know, confused by music theory, without getting frustrated, okay? And it's all got to do with what I call the three stages of sax improv, okay? Sax improv is Another way, another way to say improvisation. Stage one is keep it simple. Okay, stage one is keep it simple. When you look up how to improvise on YouTube, when you buy an improvisation book, when you ask a jazz teacher how to improvise, you're going to get so much thrown at you. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna have to know how to read music you're gonna have to know all your scales you're gonna have to know all the notes on the sax 
you're going to have to know about chords. It becomes very overwhelming. The traditional way to teach improvisation is, is very overwhelming. And I saw that. I saw that when I was learning. I saw that when I was growing up. And I've learned over the last 25 years teaching students, watching them struggle with improvising. And I've learned to, to break it down. And the first thing is to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Do not try to learn a hundred scales. Do not try to learn all the chords. Do not try to learn all your modes, jazz scales. Keep it simple and just n learn even three notes and start improvising around three notes. Okay, then start improvising around four notes and five notes. Okay, this is essential. You don't want to get overwhelmed because the, the goal of improvising and being creative is that you don't want a barrier with the technique on the sax. You don't want a barrier with f knowing the fingerings. You don't want to be thinking about chords and what scale to play and what notes to play and what is this. Uh, you don't want to be thinking about that. You want to get into a, a space where you're getting into a flow of being creative, right? So in the saxophone improvisation challenge, I only teach you how to improvise around five notes, G, A, C, D with the octave key and E. Okay, these five notes make up the C major pentatonic scale. An amazing scale to start improvising with because no matter what notes you play, it kind of sounds melodic, right? You're just going to play those five notes. I'm just improvising around those five notes. If you're a saxophone player, you should know those five notes if you've been playing a few weeks. And you can start improvising around them and having fun with them, okay? And in the saxophone improvisation challenge, I give you backing tracks, things like that. Go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash SIC, saxophone improvisation challenge. There's a link actually uh, below this video in the description. And you can start learning how to improvise with just these five notes. Okay, number two, stage two, develop a melodic toolkit. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? I mean, it's all very well to know the notes, but there's actually ways of developing melodies with those notes, right? And there's three ways to do it. You got to do it with musical phrasing, call and response, and rhythm. And these three things really help with developing your melodic toolkit, okay? I'm gonna get into that, more into that in a minute. And then stage three is understand chords and harmony. Now I know I said you don't have to know all your chords, you don't have to know everything about chords, but you do eventually have to understand what chords are and how as a sax player you play over chords, okay? So let's go a little more, let's go a little deeper into all these three stages. All right, keep it simple. Let's get creative with just four or five notes and use a backing track that will work with these notes. Play around with these notes and experiment with making melodies. Don't worry about complicated scales and chords at this stage. And don't judge yourself, right? Don't judge yourself too harshly when you improvise. The goal is to have fun. A lot of people are like, it doesn't sound good. I don't, I can't do it. Oh, it's frustrating. It doesn't matter. Just try to have fun with it and don't judge yourself, don't judge the process, okay? When a child is learning to paint for the first time, they're not going, oh, that doesn't look very good. They're just having fun, right? You wanna get into that childlike state of mind. Stage two, your melodic toolkit, right? Understand how melody is formed in music using tried and true principles, okay? There are three principles that make up melodies in music, rhythm, musical phrasing, and call and response. Start playing simple notes that you know and create melodies with these three principles, right? So, rhythm, musical phrasing, call and response. These are pretty much, this makes up pretty much all music, right? 
rhythm is the life of music. You can play three notes a million different ways just by changing the rhythm, okay, like this. So here's just a basic rhythm with G, A, and C. Okay, so G, A, C, A, G. Basic rhythm. We can change this now, make some notes longer, some notes shorter, make it sound completely different. Different rhythm, sounds different. Completely different rhythm, same exact notes, same order, G, A, C, A, G, sounds totally different. Different rhythm, sounds different, right? Rhythm changes the melody, even though you're playing the same notes right? It changes the sound of the melody, right? Musical phrasing is another example, which is like speaking. It's like a language, right? You want to imagine saying a sentence. You want to imagine saying something like, I'm getting, I, I went to work today. I went to work today. I went to work today. Six syllables, six notes. Do, 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 da, da, da. Okay, it's you, you want to start thinking in language, right? So you can develop your musical language on the sax. I went to work today, right? It's like a sentence, and you want to start imagining this and thinking like this when you're improvising, right? And then finally, call and response. Call is a question, response is an answer, right? These are musical toolkits. These are musical ways of learning how to create melodies on the sax. Call and response. Hey, what did you do today? Hey, hey, what, or, let's say. Hey, what did you do today? I went to work today. What did you do today? I went to work today. This is another way of thinking when you're improvising. You're creating melody. You're creating melodic ideas. Okay, you're not just playing random notes. You're starting to develop, to develop your melodic toolkit, right? And you can start playing simple notes you, to create these melodies with these three principles, right? Chords and harmony. As sax players, we don't play chords. We can only play single notes. However, we need to learn what notes are in certain chords in order to be able to expand our vocabulary, our musical vocabulary with improvising on sax. <clears throat> Once you understand what notes to play over specific chords, you will have a much wider palette for improvising on saxophone. You will start to recognize that often you can just play one scale over a whole series of chords, okay? So you can actually, when you start learning chords, you're going to start seeing that a chord is made up of two, three notes, and we can play those notes on the saxophone, right? And as more chords come up in a song, you're going to see how all the chords relate to each other. And you can actually just play six, seven notes. It's going to work over all these different chords, okay? That's the level we're trying to get to eventually. These are the stages we're trying to get through. Start simple, develop your melodic toolkit, and start learning chords. So, I hope that wasn't too overwhelming. I hope you're starting to get it, right? However, we can't cover everything, right? So in the past hour, well, 45 minutes, would you agree it is time spent well, well so far? 
Okay, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these concepts. If it was clear, if it's something you have had given you a better understanding of improvising. Um, and of course, if you want anything else more explained, right? Uh, you can ask me at the end, okay? So if you have any other questions about improvising or you want something more explained, better, whatever it is, you can actually ask me at the end of the math class. <laughs> All right, we have some great answers. I love this. Absolutely time very well spent, Catherine says. Joe, yes, as always. William, yes. Joseph, good review of important concepts. Uh, Mark, absolutely, absolutely. I learned more in this session than I have in 50 years. Well, that is a compliment. Thank you so much. Uh, Sheriff, really enjoyed the class. Definitely. Paul Smith, yes, it was. Patricia, absolutely worth it. Thanks. Wim, awesome. Amazing. Thank you, guys. It means so much to me. It gives me, gives me shivers uh, uh, that you appreciate this stuff. Roger, great lesson. Amazing. Well, unfortunately... I can't cover everything on improvisation in just a one hour masterclass, right? I've only scratched the surface. I'm only giving you a sort of overview of improvisation. But I've developed an in-depth live course on saxophone improvisation that I really wanna tell you about, right? I have a special offer you don't wanna miss out on just for you. Now, some of you have already joined the course, okay? Patricia, um, uh, Fred, you guys have joined the course already, so you know all about this, but this is a little refresher of what you're going to get inside um, over the next five weeks. But before I get into that, remember you can win one of my courses. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash competition. There's a link in the description of the YouTube video. There's a button below if you're on my website. Click on that, put your name and email in because I'm going to announce Three winners at the end. Three winners at the end um, to win two of my courses and um, <coughs> three months access to my Sack Circle coaching community. All right? And you have a pretty good chance of winning because we only have 30 entries so far. So you have a one in 10 chance of winning one of these things. So um, make sure to stick around to the end though because I'm going to say, I'm going to announce the winner. And if you don't claim your prize, you're not going to get it. Okay, so if you're not still with me, you're not going to get the prize. So make sure to stick around to the end. And let me just tell you, uh, before I get into the course, how I started learning all this stuff, right? How did I start learning improvisation? Well, I spent years trying to learn improvisation tricks from videos, DVDs, without any proper guidance, okay? I kind of learned some stuff, but I, it was just kind of confusing, overwhelming. I would improvise along to backing tracks with no clue what, with what notes worked, hoping it would sound good. So I was just messing around, trying to figure it out by myself, okay? I bought dozens of books on improvising, just left it, and it just left me overwhelmed and confused, all right? I couldn't quite read the music. It started, it's really complicated concepts, all this jargon I didn't understand. It was just left me overwhelmed and confused. Uh, and eventually, I went to Berklee College of Music. I got a $200,000 music education, okay? A four-year music degree, one of the best music schools in the world. And after 10 years of playing the saxophone, I finally understood how to improvise freely and jam in any musical setting, right? So that's the hard way, okay? 10 years, trial and error, spending money, four years of teaching or uh, getting an education, that's the hard way. Now, I don't know if you have time or money to do it this way, but you can if you like, right? So you have a few options. You can waste time and money trying to figure out this all out by yourself, buying more improvisation books, looking up videos on YouTube, but you're just gonna end up confused and overwhelmed, right? You can take years out of your life to get a formal music education like I did, but you would end up spending $200,000 in four years of, or more even, and four years of your life learning this information. And of course, you can take private lessons, and maybe some of you do, that will cost you thousands a year if you get an experienced pro sax teacher in order to learn more about improvising on saxophone, 
but they won't be able to answer questions or give you guidance in between lessons. This is the biggest problem with private lessons is that you kind of left to your own devices in between the lessons. So when you come across problems or you're struggling with something, you don't get any of your questions answered and that can be frustrating. Or you can learn a proven step-by-step -step system for mastering improvisation on the saxophone aimed at total beginners who have no music theory knowledge or background. A system that has worked for thousands of my students over the past 20 years teaching saxophone. And you can work on all the lessons at your own pace from the comfort of your home with 24-7 lifetime access, all from a phone, tablet, or laptop, while getting personal feedback from a pro sax teacher with 25 years experience. And you can actually ask me questions any day, any time. Send me an email, post on the videos, post in the community. You can actually ask me anytime you come across any problems, you can start asking me questions. You're not gonna get that with a private instructor. Introducing saxophone improvisation simplified. A five week step-by-step -step live online course that takes you from absolute scratch to learning how to improvise freely, play around with your favorite songs, and even jam with other musicians all while learning at your own pace. And this is when we're going live, guys, right? Every Wednesday in August at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's the time that we started this masterclass. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's if you're in New York on the East Coast. 7 p.m. UK and Ireland. <coughs> uh, obviously, different parts of Europe. Uh, it's going to be different times. I think Netherlands is an hour ahead. And we're going to be talk. We're going to be going live every Wednesday. Now you still get access to the replays, right? So you don't actually have to attend live. So if you're on the other side of the world, you can't make the live classes. You're not going to miss out on anything because you can still watch the replay fully and get all the information, and you can still get feedback from me in between the classes. So here's what you get: five weeks of transformational weekly live masterclasses showing you step by step how you can improvise freely on saxophone, jam along to your favorite backing tracks and songs, as well as knowing how to play with other musicians. Lifetime access to the replays. Okay, so even if you can't make any of the classes, even if you don't have time to um, engage with the, with the content in August, you still get lifetime access so you can watch them anytime in your own time. And you don't have to turn up live if, you, if, if, <coughs> if it's not possible some weeks. Personal feedback on your sax improvisation via video every week as you progress through the course. Okay, so you can send me a video, I can listen to you improvise, I'll give you all the feedback you need. Instant access to two other courses on improvising and embellishing melodies, and five incredible bonuses on improvisation that will transform your sax playing, right? So, week one, anyone can improvise, right? That's, we're starting August 3rd, Wednesday, same time, 11 a.m., we're gonna be talking about how to get creative with just a few notes on sax, how to improvise playing just one note with one easy exercise and still sound amazing. Discover how you can make beautiful melodies with just three notes that even total beginners can play on the saxophone. Download backing tracks designed to make it easy for you to improvise without needing to have great technique on sax. Discover how much fun you can have with improvising even without knowing anything about complicated chords or scales on saxophone. Week two. Okay, so I'm going to give you all that material. You can learn from it. You can ask me questions. You can tell me if you're confused about anything. Ask me anything. And then we're going to get into week two on Wednesday, August 10th. Build your melodic toolkit. Tried and true concept for concepts for improvising beautiful melodic lines and licks, right? I covered a little bit of that today. I'm going to go even deeper with that, give you tons of examples. Understand how to build your own melodies and saxophone with just three simple core principles anyone can understand even if you have no musical background, okay? Learn simple exercises to help you build your repertoire of <coughs> melodic ideas, which will work in any song and in any style. Discover how speaking and sentences are directly connected to making up melodic ideas in saxophone. And finally, understanding how to speak the musical language and then copy my tried and true melod melody licks so you can start using them in your own improvisation while also understanding how to make them your own. Now, Harmony and chords, right? We touched briefly on this. This can get complicated, but I'm going to show you the simple method for understanding what notes are in any chord so you can know exactly how to improvise on them when they're being played in a backing track or song. 
You can learn the four most common chord progressions, which is multiple chords in a song that you find in modern music so that you can start to recognize them and jam over any song in any style. You can discover five easy ways to practice playing over chords so you can always know what to play even if you're not feeling creative. Okay, a lot of people feel like I'm not a creative person, I don't know how to improvise. You don't need to be. I'm going to show you how you can start improvising even if you're not feeling creative. <coughs> Understand exactly what scale you can play when you see a series of chords one after the other and most of the time it's just one scale. And finally gain the confidence to jam with your local band and be able to play along with anyone no matter what style of music they are playing. So this is going to be an amazing week. This is going to blow your mind. It's going to help you with jamming along to backing tracks, playing with your local band, playing with a piano player, guitar player. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. But now we're going to get into some really cool stuff in week four. Once you have that foundation of those first three weeks, those three stages that I talked about, we're going to build on that with killer blues sax solos, okay? This is the kind of stuff you hear on your favorite recordings. This is the kind of stuff you hear on the radio. People jamming, playing blues sax solos and making, making it sound cool, right? Making their improvisation sound cool, right? Improvise pro sounding blues sax solos that you can use in any music style of music. Learn the chord progressions for most blues songs in every style of music so you can finally start jamming along to your favorite blues songs. Understand why the blue scale makes your improvisation sound so cool and how you can start sounding like the pros on your favorite records. Discover the 10 best blues improvisation licks that will work in any blues song in any key and they're actually really easy to play. Learn how to switch between the blue scale and the blues chord notes so you can sound like the pro, a pro with just one simple trick. <clears throat> so that's week four. It's going to be so much fun. And then finally week five, embellishing your improvisation. Learn what the pros do to make their improvisation sound jazzy with grace notes, bends, trills, glissandos, falls, and more. Learn one simple trick for making your improvisation sound jazzy that is actually really easy to implement. Discover how you can make a growling sound on saxophone to make it sound gritty and bluesy like the pros on your favorite recordings. Learn how to bend and swoop notes to add more character to you playing the correct way. Okay, so people get this wrong all the time and it's really bad for their technique. I'm going to show you how to do it the correct way. <clears throat> and then make improvisation that sounds boring into something that sounds cool and jazzy. That's all week five. So it's a jam-packed course, guys, right? But the whole time, you're getting personal feedback. You get personal feedback every week on your saxophone improvisation. You send me a video, right? Record yourself improvising using the, no the notes and backing tracks that I provide for you each week. Upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo. Copy the link to the video. You don't have to share it publicly. You will have to share it with other students, but that's about it. And I give you personal feedback, right? There's a community area inside the course. You can paste it. I'll respond with personal feedback on your improvisation and tell you exactly what you need to work on. Plus, you get instant access today to these courses. Improvisation explained, step-by-step -step guidance on how to form a simple sax solo, right? Access to step-by-step -step exercises every pro sax player practices in order to have a toolkit of melodic ideas to improvise with. Discover the three principles of rhythm, musical phrasing, and call and response with examples that every improviser uses to form saxophone solos step-by-step. -step. Learn how to make your improvisation sound bluesy with the blues scale, along with pro licks you can copy and use right away in your solos. All inside this, it's like a mini course on how to develop a sax solo, basically. And that's just a whole different course pre-recorded that you can watch right away. And another pre-recorded saxophone course called Mastering Your Saxophone Embellishments. Learn how to jazz up songs with pro techniques like grace notes, bends, trills, falls, glissandos, jazz turns, and more. I apply them to simple songs like When the Saints Go Marching In, <clears throat> just like I showed you today. Detailed explanation of how to swoop notes. Simple trick for jazzing up your songs. How to embellish songs like a Baker Street and Careless Whisper with grace notes, bends, glissandos. Make your playing sound gritty with pro growling technique, right? So, this is everything you're getting, guys. What you get, five week saxophone improvisation, simplified live course, $2,000 value, right? Lifetime access to replays, $1,000 value. Personal feedback on your sax playing every week, $1,000 value. Instant access to improvisation explained, $500 value course. Instant access to embellishments course, $500 value. Total value of $5,000 for just 187 today. Okay, so it's 187 and then two other monthly payments and you get lifetime access to everything. All right? 
You can also do a one-time payment of 497. This is basically the cost of just a couple of lessons on the saxophone, right? If you want to get a pro sax teacher, you're paying at least 100 a month uh, a week, <clears throat> right? And you're only getting that one hour with that teacher. For 497, you can get five weeks of feedback of uh, incredible information I learned over 25 years of improvising a community of other people that you can practice with and work with all for just 497 and if that's too much up front you can do 187 and then two monthly payments so you pay 187 today one payment 30 days from now and then another payment 60 days from now if you want to break it up all right but if you're still on the fence you're not sure if it's for you, you're not sure if you, if you can attend all the classes, you're not sure if uh, it might be too advanced. <clears throat> I'm guaranteeing a total refund on the price you pay today if you're not totally satisfied. Okay, so check out all the lessons before we go live. Attend week one, you can actually come to a live masterclass uh, of week one. You can even get personal feedback from me, right? If you still feel like the course isn't for you, just email me at alexandersaxophonemasterclass.com. I'll give you a full refund right up until August 9th. That way I take the risk totally off your so shoulders. So you can pay today. And if it's not for you, you can just get a full refund. Okay, so here's some of my students. Adam from Malaysia. It's been a wonderful, challenging year learning the saxophone from scratch. And without you, it would not be possible. You're an inspiring teacher. And I've learned so much about music theory. I can keep watching the videos repeatedly to learn at my own pace and the instructions are clear to follow. Tammy, the way you have everything in small groups make it, makes it so much easier to learn than having several different areas combined and thrown at you all at once. You're truly a master instructor. I'm so happy to have found you. I know if I had any other instructor, I'd be, I'd be frustrated and probably not have learned a quarter of what I learned from you. Michael, the videos are very informative and guide me in the right way. It also c helps when you can do it at your own pace. Okay, so again, you can do all of this at your own pace. You don't have to, you, if, if, if we get too advanced, you can go back and watch the videos again and again for the rest of your life. I love the fact that all the classes are accessible anytime and are very intuitive and interactive. I've enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one support from Alexander and enjoyed the different conversations with other students. Finally, Gertie, I've learned so much in a few weeks and I feel more confident when playing. I can hear when I use the correct notes because now I have learned where the notes are on the saxophone. Alexander is taking the time to visually and audibly show us the how and the why of the sax. So amazing students. They're awesome. They've learned so much from my videos, my courses. And we are closing on Tuesday, August 2nd. Okay, because we're starting on Wednesday, August 3rd. So this is your only opportunity to get access to this brand new course. And if you're on the fence, don't worry. Just pay that 187 or 497 today if it's not for you, if you have buyer's remorse, if you feel like the course is not for you in any way, shape or form, you can get a full money back guarantee. Okay, I, I I've done this with students that maybe got sick and aren't able to make it. If there's any problems whatsoever, you get a full refund, no questions asked. So it's it's this is what I base my business on, right? There's a lot of transparency. There's a lot of honesty. If, if you fit, simply don't like the course, I'd rather you take your money and spend it somewhere else, okay? Um, it's, it's no skin off my nose. I really don't mind. It's, I don't need <laughs> the money. I just want to be able to give you the best guidance when it comes to improvising on a saxophone. So click the button below. There's a link also in the description of the video, saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash improvisation if you can't see the button or the link. And join today if you're interested, right? If you're still on the fence, I've got five more bonuses for you, right? The Ultimate Major Scales Fingering Guide. This is a guide with every single major scales on the sax that you can learn offline. It's a PDF guide that will help you with learning all your scales. A masterclass called Improvising with Chords and Major Scales. So that's a great little compliment to the Major Scales Fingering Guide. Three stages of improvising on saxophone where I go even deeper on what I talked about today. These are all hour long masterclasses. How to jazz up your songs on saxophone, just a really simple technique to help you jazz up your songs on sax. You get instant access to that masterclass as well. Introduction to the blues, just giving you an overview of how the blues works, how to play over the blues, how to jam over the blues. Total value of $1,100. 
All of this is worth $6,100 and you can get access to everything for $187 today with a money back guarantee. Okay, so if you're interested, click that button below, click the link below and uh, join us, join me and Patricia and, and Fred in uh, uh, on Wednesday, August 3rd and transform your saxophone playing. All right, guys, last chance to enter. Thank you so much for sticking around. You can go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash competition. You got one more minute to enter and then I'm gonna take all the um, information, all the emails, all the names, and we're gonna do a pick the winner, spin the wheel after I answer all the questions. So make sure to do that. There's a link below. There's also a button below. And then we're gonna pick the winner in just five minutes. Are there any questions for me related to the course, related to the stuff I talked about today? Is there anything that you wanna ask me? Any burning questions, this is your opportunity. We have someone from South Africa. You're the best lecture teacher. I've learned how to play happy birthday songs using your six day challenge. Awesome, that's amazing. So glad you enjoyed that. Um, the hardest, Ken says, the hardest part is getting started simply without judging your progress. Exactly. It's <clears throat> probably the biggest thing that stops people from practicing how to improvise because they're so self-conscious about what, how it sounds and they're judging it. And they're, you know, this is something that you have to get past. Um, and it, it doesn't really go away, I suppose, but you have to at least have moments of just not judging yourself and trying to get into the flow, right? Um, I've registered for the course already. Yes, we have, I have another one of my students who's here with us. So glad you can join us today. Um, any other questions? Any other questions? I'm just gonna put this up on the screen. Let me know. I'm here to answer any questions on any of the material of us so far. I'm going to get the names downloaded for the competition. So if you uh, stick around just for another t five, 10 minutes, I'm going to announce the winners of the saxophone courses. Just give me one second. But any other questions in the meantime? Okay, Neil Turpin, is the course in different saxophones? How do you manage tenor, alto, soprano, etc.? So the course is actually, uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating on alto sax, but you're actually gonna be able to um, use any saxophone, okay? So it doesn't, it doesn't matter what saxophone you play, I'm gonna be giving you backing tracks, right? Which is probably the most important part, is being able to have backing tracks for um, practicing improvising over. And I'm gonna be giving backing tracks for every saxophone. So no matter what sax you play, whether it's alto, whether it's tenor, whether it's um, soprano, baritone, you're going to be able to um, follow along to this course. You're gonna be able to learn all the techniques. You're gonna be able to download backing tracks, the note names, the PDFs, everything that applies to your saxophone. Okay. Mark asks, when reading jazz music and see the changes, they seem to come fast, sometimes from bar to bar. How do you navigate these? Great question. Great question. So <clears throat> in order to follow along to chords like that, it, it's quite difficult, but I show you, especially in week three and in some of the master classes, I show you step by step how to um, 
follow along to the chords. And it starts with really simple, simple stuff. So the first thing to do is actually listen. So don't even play the saxophone, just listen to the song and hear the chords and say the chords out loud as the chords come up. So you really need to follow when the chords come up in the music and the first step is to just say the chords out loud as they come up, right? The second step is to then play the root note of the chord. So as they come up, you play the root note, you know, say it goes A major, you play A. If it goes to, you know, B minor, you play B. C sharp minor, you play C sharp. You've got to start playing just the root note. And this is how you start practicing following the chords. And then eventually you play the chord tones of every chord as well, right? So I talk all about that in week three, uh, as well as in one of my master classes. And um, I show you how to start from absolute scratch. So from the most simple form, you know, because if you start with jazz, it's going to get really complicated and really hard and overwhelming. But if you start with a simple song, for example, that has three chords, four chords, and you start practicing following just a simple song, it's going to make it a lot easier um, to start understanding how to hear and follow chords. Any tips on how to relax and not panic when playing saxophone? Um, do you mean when you're performing or do you mean when you're practicing or both? Um, but basically, there's a few things you can do. Um, the number one thing is to actually just warm up with breathing exercises without the sax. Right? Just take deep breaths. I actually teach about diaphragmatic breathing on my YouTube channel, in my courses. And this can really help you to relax, right? The number one, the number one thing is to do that. Number two thing is to start playing songs and scales and different things that you really know really well. Okay, so don't try to start with something that's difficult that you're still trying to learn. Start with something you know, like start with a simple song, Mary Had a Little Lamb or When the Saints Go Marching In. To start with something really easy and that way you start kind of feeling good about yourself. You start having more confidence. You start feeling like, oh, I can get this. And that will help you be more relaxed. When you start with something difficult, when you start with something that you're not quite getting, that causes stress, that causes tension. And that's when you start to, to freak out a bit, <laughs> right? You start to panic a bit because you're like, oh, I can't get it. And, and then it just starts getting more and more stressful. So you got to start with stuff that you know. It's okay to just play stuff that you have fun with, that you enjoy, that you know inside out. It's actually really important to, to practice that initially. So I hope that helps. <clears throat> uh, any tips on how to overcome frustration from trying over and over? Yes, I mean, you have to take your time. You have to take it slow. I see a lot of people, they get frustrated because they're trying to do it too f quick. They're trying to do it too fast. They're trying to play it too fast. And that causes frustration when really you want to take it as slow as possible and you want to isolate the things that you're getting that are difficult. Maybe it's three, four notes of a song. Maybe it's a couple of notes in a scale. Focus in on just the difficult part. Take your time, take it slow and repeat it multiple times until you get it. And the, and the, uh, my, um, my rule is try to play it three times perfectly in a row before you move on, right? Pl try to play it three times perfectly in a row. Don't just play it once perfectly and go, I got it. I'm, I'm good now. If you try to go back and do it again, you're not going to get it. You got to get it three times in a row perfectly, but take your time. Take it slow. That's, that's my biggest uh, suggestion. Uh, Sheriff also asks, would you advise any type of reader mouthpiece to use? You can actually go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide and you can get my buyer's guide. Okay, so that's a great little guide that's going to help you and uh, it suggests mouthpieces and reads for beginners, intermediate players, advanced players. Okay, so that's all in there. I just pasted the link in the comments. saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide, G-U-I-D-E. Um, anybody got any other questions? 
Does anyone want to see what they get when they join this five week live course? Because I can actually go in and show you and then we're going to announce the winners of the courses and the membership. All right, so let me know if you want me to go deeper uh, into what you get inside when you join today or if you have any other questions whatsoever. Okay, this is everything you're getting. The <coughs> you're getting the five weeks simpl imp saxophone improvisation simplified live course for any saxophone, lifetime access to the replays, personal feedback on your sax improvisation every week, instant access to improvisation explained, instant access to the embellishments course, five incredible bonuses, total value of 6100. All you have to do is pay it 187 today and two more payments or 497 today. And there's a button below, takes you to the page, uh, saxophone improvisation simplified. Um, you can go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash improvisation and you can join right away and get access to all the bonuses and all the courses. Um, so I can get into what you're going to get when you join right now. Just give me a second. And then what we're going to do is... Uh, What we're going to do is we're actually going to announce the winners of the courses. So this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this library. This is your products library. You're going to get, these are all my different courses, but you're going to get saxophone improvisation simplified, saxophone improvisation explained, mastering saxophone embellishments, these three courses. Okay. And you can just click on access now when you, these are the two bonus courses. But let's just start with saxophone improvisation simplified. Oh, don't know why that happened. I'm not logged in probably. All right, here we go. Not logged in. All right, give me a second. I have to log in. Let me know if you have any other questions about the course or anything else. This is it here and you're going to start here and it's just a little orientation video. When I go live, it's going to be on this page here. All right. And we're going to be live in four days, 22 hours every Wednesday. And then I'm going to upload the videos, the replays in this section here. Okay, then if you want, you can actually go and check out your bonuses, which are also inside this area. Three stages of sax improvisation. This is a hour masterclass, improvising with chords and major scales. Another hour masterclass. I'm showing you all the chord tones. I'm showing you what they mean. I show you how they work. You can download backing tracks, how to jazz up your songs on sax. Another hour masterclass on how to jazz up songs step by step right we use the christmas song I, I have the note names written in so you can actually you don't need to read music and i show you when to embellish and how to embellish to make it sound jazzy introduction to the blues okay this is how to play the blues i even wrote a blues for you to to practice with i show you the chord progression i show you what each of the notes mean it's all inside this is everything you just get instantly right you can also download backing tracks and you can download the slides. That's just the bonuses. And then you get also access to saxophone improvisations explained. Another course on a lot of the stuff we talked about. Um, the pentatonic scale um, we talked about, right? That's, that's here. Pentatonic scale, most common chord progressions, pentatonic exercises, pentatonic, all the stuff, right? I give you different exercises, rhythmic clusters, different rhythms, musical phrasing, call and response. It's all, this is just a free course that you get before we even go live. The blues scale, 
I show you how to improvise around the blue scale, what the blue scale means. I give you the note names. It's all inside that course. And then you also get improvisation, I mean, uh, embellishments, mastering saxophone embellishments. So this is step by step how to do grace notes, how to do turns, how to do falls, right? I'm showing you exactly how to do it with close ups on the sax, everything. Okay. <clears throat> grace notes, turns, okay, jazz turns. These are all ways to embellish your music. Um, falls, I had to fall off a note. And I'm using simple songs like Twinkle Little Star to show you. Glissandos, it's all inside this course. Bends, this is how to bend notes. And then trills, and then eventually, this is growling on a saxophone, and eventually you're going to start learning how to apply it to th songs like Baker Street. Okay, so this is the Baker Street song that we all know and love, and you can learn how to uh, embellish this song step by step. Okay, I give you the close-ups on the fingerings, I show you the note names. These are just the bonus courses, guys. So this is before we go live, you get access to all this. So it's incredible value. I sell those courses for $300 each usually, and you get access to them completely free when you join today. All right, who wants to win some saxophone courses. Who wants to win some saxophone courses? Patricia says, every time I watch and listen to one of your videos, I learn so much. Love that I can access them anytime I like. Thanks so much, Alexander. You're welcome, Patricia. Patricia has already joined. Can't wait to see her progress. Um, <clears throat> Ken says, me, Ken wants to win a course. Horse wants to win a course. All right, we're gonna do the competition time, all right? We're going to do competition time. So I'm giving away three of my courses. Saxophone success, 100 step-by-step -step lessons. M learn multiple songs step-by-step. -step. Learn how to improve your scales, your technique, your tone. It's all inside this course. I usually sell it for $500, dollars $500. You're gonna, get a chance to win now. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash success. It's in the link of this uh, YouTube video. I'm also giving away Mastering Your Saxophone Tone. Okay? This is a course where I'm going to show you step by step how to master your tone on the sax. So I show you long tones, overtones, how to improve high notes, how to improve low notes, how to get a great sound like the pros on your favorite records. It's all inside Mastering Saxophone Tone. I'm giving this away for free as well. And then finally, I have a membership called the Sax Circle Coaching Community. We've got a few members with us today. And I'm going to give three months free membership to one lucky winner. Now, there's only about 30 of us live, so you have a pretty good chance of winning, one in 10 chance. And I've got everybody loaded in to this fun little spin the wheel <laughs> that I found online, okay? So this, everyone's in here. Here's all the people that have joined us today that signed up. And we're gonna click the spin button. And this is gonna be for saxophone success, okay? Who is ready? Who is ready to win? All right, I'm gonna click spin. Who, whatever name I pick, please make sure that you tell me that you're with us still. And then once you claim your prize, I will email you and give you full access to saxophone success. You ready? Are we ready? Drum roll, please. All right, spin. This is for saxophone success. Maria Nesvatailo. Oh man, I don't know how to say that name. <laughs> okay, that is the winner. Please claim your prize if you're still with us. Ah, uh, I can see you there, Maria. I can see you there. You are the lucky winner of Saxophone Success. Again, if you want to check out Saxophone Success, go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash success. And you can learn all about it. Here it is here. What? 
saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash success. Maria, you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. And now we're going to move on to the next prize, which is Mastering Your Saxophone Tone. Um, let's go back. All right, I have your email, Maria, so I'll email you with access to that. All right, so this is for Mastering Your Saxophone Tone, which is another course you can learn more about it at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash tone, help you with improving your tone on the sax, getting low notes, getting high notes, getting that pro sax sound. This is the lucky winner. I'm gonna click spin right now. And if you're here with me, make sure to say you're here to claim the prize. Oh my God, what are the odds of that? All right, unfortunately, I'm not gonna give two prizes to the same person, but that is, you're very lucky. All right, tell you what, Maria, because you're so lucky, I am going to give you a Mastering Saxophone Tone as well. So you just won two courses. That's incredible. But I'm going to give another one away. So guys, you're going to have another chance to win Mastering Saxophone Tone. I'm going to do Spin the Wheel now. But Maria, it's not fair to not give you it. So I'm going to give you Mastering Saxophone Tone as well as Saxophone Success. How lucky are you? Amazing. Amazing. All right, let's go back. We're going to do, <laughs> yeah, this, this is what happens when you find free uh, pick the wheels on the internet. All right, here we go. One more time. This is for mastering your saxophone tone. Amanda Thau, are you with us? Are you with us? Amanda Thau, are you with us right now? You have to be here in order to claim the prize, unfortunately, if you're not with us. Let me know if you're with us. Let's have a look here. All right, so Amanda has not claimed a prize. So, we might have to spin again. We might have to spin again. All right, guys, we're going to spin again. Amanda's not with us. Um, so, let's do it again. Spin the wheel. This is for mastering your saxophone tone. Mark R. Aman. Amen. Are you with us, Mark? Ah. <clears throat> Are you with us? Please let me know. Yeah, Mark is with us. Yahoo, he says. All right, amazing, amazing. All right, Mark, I have your email. I'm going to give you access to Mastering Your Saxophone Tone. I will send it to you later today along with Maria's two courses of saxophone success and mastering your saxophone tone. Someone made a really great suggestion and said, you need to take the winner off the list. But then that's not, that's not fun. I want Mark to win another course as well. I want, <laughs> I want Maria to win the, the membership too. So I'm not gonna take you off the list. If you, I think if you're lucky enough to win two prizes in a row, then you should win. I, I'm really good at these things too. I always get lucky. And I, I want to make sure everyone gets a chance to win as much as possible. All right, guys, we have one more membership to give away. Three months to the Sack Circle Coaching Community. You're going to be able to go live with me for three months every week. And you're going to be able to uh, get access to all the replays of every masterclass I've ever done, not including the saxophone improvisation simplified but i've done about 16 uh live master classes inside the community you're going to get access to all of that 16 hours of content you're going to get personal feedback from me for three months that's what the community is all about sax circle coaching community and you're going to get three months for free if you win so let's go back to the picker wheel 
Congrats again, Mark. And let's spin it. This is for the membership. This is the last prize. El Jeffy, are you with us? Are you with us? Claim your prize if you're here with us. You have a few minutes now to claim your prize. If you're not commenting, you can email me. Otherwise, I'm going to spin the wheel one more time to give away the three month membership. All right, I think a Jeffy's gone. So let's go back to picker wheel one more time. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> this is for the three month membership. All right, she was, she was not with us unless she is. I don't think Amanda was. Oh no, El Jeffy is here. I'm here. All right, okay. Never mind. El Jeffy, you are the winner. Congratulations of the three month membership. Okay, no problem. So, <laughs> we have three winners, ladies and gentlemen. El Jeffy has got the three month membership, Maria has got saxophone success and mastering saxophone tone. And we have Mark, who has Mastery in Saxophone Tone. Congratulations, guys. Um, I'm going to be giving you access to those courses uh, later today. For everyone else, I'm sorry you didn't win, but you still have a chance to join those courses anytime. And, um, of course, join the Saxophone Improvisation Simplified before Tuesday, August 2nd. If anyone has any other questions about this course, please let me know. Um, this has been super fun. This has been a great time. I hope you got a lot out of it. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions. You can email me at uh, alexander at saxophonemasterclass.com. Um, you can comment on this video. You can comment below if you're on the website. So just let me know if you have any questions about the course or about improvisation and I'll try to answer them. And remember to check out the Saxophone Improvisation Challenge if you haven't already. Okay, so saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash S-I-C and check that out. You can learn so much more about what I'm teaching today. Uh, absolutely free. And there's a link also below this video in the YouTube description and on the website. All right, everyone, this has been so much fun. Uh, Congrats to the lucky ones, Eugenia says. Thank you and a good night to everybody. You're welcome, Horst. Um, Catherine, thank you so much for such a wonderful class. You're welcome. Ken, thanks for today. You're welcome, Ken. Ray, awesome. Sheriff, I'm heartbroken. I'm so sorry. Uh, Joe, great class as always, Alexander. Thank you, Joe. Paul G, thanks, Alexander. Sheriff, thanks for the class. Anyways, you're welcome, Sheriff, even though he says he's heartbroken. Mark, thank you very much. You're welcome, Mark. Congrats again. Patricia, great fun. See you on Wednesday, August 3rd. Will do, Patricia. Eugenia, thank you for your time, Max Alner. Awesome idea via YouTube. I use your tips all the time. You're welcome. Maria, thank you so much. Congrats again. Thomas, thanks. Paul Smith, thanks. You're welcome, guys. This has been so much fun. You guys are great. You've been a great uh, audience, and I really hope you got a lot out of it again. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you want to know, learn more about the course um, and let me know actually what you got out of this. You know, what is it that you uh, was helpful to you and was there anything that, you know, you wish you learned more about or that you missed or that was confusing? It really helps me to, to be a better teacher and to, to really show you and show students how they can become great improvisers on the saxophone. All right, my friends, thank you so much. Until next time, I will see you soon and have a great day.